obtained video footage of what happened. We got every camera angle in the, in the, uh, in the courthouse and we obtained that uh, and we had that securely stored on our server where we keep all of our evidence. Uh, it did not take long for us to uncover a conspiracy to cover up and suppress certain evidence regarding the escape of Joshua Zimmerman. New information tonight in the investigation into an accused killer who escaped from DeSoto County. The DeSoto County District Attorney's Office says surveillance video of the inmate's escape was stolen from the office. Now, according to D.A. B Matthew Barton, the video was stolen yesterday, the same day the office received it. Well, now a grand jury will investigate the DeSoto County Courthouse. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Darcy Thomas. And I'm Daryl Green. Right now, that inmate is still on the run. Deputies say they still don't know where Joshua Zimmerman is, but they do add he was last seen in Memphis. Fox 13's Lakia Scott is live at the DeSoto County District Attorney's Office. Lakia, the DA issued some bold claims today. Yeah, he did. DA Matthew Barton says that he had video of Zimmerman's escape on his server. He says someone attacked his server and deleted the video. Well, now he's turning this case over to a grand jury for an investigation. As much as it's going to rock the boat and upset a few people, the fact is uh, DeSoto County does not belong to the good old boys anymore. It belongs to you. These are the words DeSoto County District Attorney Matthew Barton adamantly declared Thursday after making a bombshell announcement regarding the case of escaped inmate Joshua Zimmerman. We had that securely stored on our server where we keep all of our evidence. Some co-conspirators uh, from an outside entity, not the state of Mississippi, uh, local entities, uh, directed uh, the county IT to go onto my server and delete state's evidence. The material DA Barton says was deleted from his server Wednesday was the surveillance footage that shows Joshua Zimmerman escaping the courthouse Friday. We got every camera angle in the, in the, uh, in the courthouse. So the video that I had obtained through lawful and traditional and appropriate manners in the scope of the duties that my investigators have was deleted because these co-conspirators. In Thursday's press conference, Barton told Fox 13 he knows who stole and deleted video footage from his server. Can you share how you're so certain that someone took the video from you and stole it? I confronted people that did it. Did they? It was affirmed, and yes, it was confirmed. I know, I know which entities did it, and, uh, and it was admitted to. Why did they say they did it? Uh, I can't speak for, for what their motives were. All I know is there's evidence of a crime that I needed as part of my investigation to find out why a known murderer is walking through the same walkways as my staff and all the people that were in public that day. Now, Barton says the grand jury will investigate, pardon me, they, he, they will investigate the agency or any person responsible for taking that video. The grand jury will also take a closer look at courthouses as well as county facilities to take a closer look at the safekeeping of the inmates. The grand jury will also investigate the escape of Joshua Zimmerman. Daryl Darcy. That is Fox 13's Lakia Scott live in DeSoto County tonight. Lakia, thank you. Let's take another look at the suspect. This is Joshua Zimmerman. These are the photos released by the DeSoto County Sheriff's Office after he got away last Friday. The U.S. Marshals and the County DA say that they're offering $5,000 each, so reward money in total is up to ten grand for information that leads to his capture. If you see Joshua Zimmerman, call 911.